guys, it's Ariel Fox and welcome back to my channel. If you are used to watching my videos, you'll notice that my hair has changed. I've gone bright red again after saying so many times I wouldn't. I decided to do it. I also have a little bit of red hair dye here and some on my head and all over my fingernails. I thought today I'd do a Q&A video. This video has lots of compiled questions in it that I've had on my Instagram when I've done Ask Me Anything. A few of the other questions are questions I've had from people who have been following me for my modelling and who have commented on my photos or have sent me DMs. Nothing to show so far from mom, don't be a breeze, no. Today's video and a little bit of a background on me. Um, I quite often get asked how I have so many followers on Instagram. I used to do modelling and that's where all my followers have come from. I stopped modelling quite a while ago. It's continually just building now off its back. Um, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing which is amazing because I love to keep it building. I really like to work with friends on there and I want to do some more of that too so building it will help with that. Since doing my modelling I've moved into a different job and I now just run my Instagram for fun. I also love doing the YouTube. I wish I started this earlier when I was modelling and I'd have more to talk about but hey I've come to it late so this is a side quest and this is why my followers on here are a lot lower. In terms of that if you are new to my channel please subscribe and help me build my following. If you've come over from Instagram and I know a lot of you do please also subscribe it really 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 supports me even if you don't want to watch everything. Also, the most popular question I ask is how old I am. I am 27 which is really depressing. Um, I really missed being 25 that was a really cute age but I am 27. One of the next questions I get asked is do I have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a fiance actually and we are getting married next year. The question I get is how many body modifications do you have? Which is unusual because I don't have too much on display so I wouldn't have thought I'd get asked this one and I don't really have too much anyway so this is quite a surprising one but I have been asked it quite a lot. So I have quite a few in my ear. I'm not really sure how many I have anymore because loads of them are closed over a bit but they are still there. As a school I had all the way up to the top of my ear pierced but most of them have healed up now. So I just have these three at the bottom and then this one at the top inside my ear too. One at the bottom of my ear is a stretcher. This is where I've stretched my ear when I was a teenager and it never healed. So I just wear stretches in it now. Um, I've actually stretched it a little bit bigger recently because I saw this one that I absolutely love that I've got in at the moment and I really wanted to buy it but it was, I think it was like one size bigger than mine and then it's flared at the back which makes it much bigger. So I just stretched it up a couple of sizes just so I could get it in but I really, really love this and I'm never going to let it heal up because it just looks like a cat's butt. The other side of my ear, I only have two so I have less on the side of my ear. I just went crazy on that one for some reason, don't know why. I've got my belly button pierced as well. You've probably seen that on my Instagram from like holiday snaps and then I've got my nose pierced. When I was a teenager I used to have my lip pierced. Until very recently I also had my nipple pierced as well which was a delightful experience. <laughs> it hurts like absolute hell but it was worth it because it looked beautiful but unfortunately I was constantly catching it so my nerve healed so instead of completely damaging my body I just decided to get rid of it. Next question I get asked a lot is do you wear fake glasses? Um, no I don't. I actually do wear glasses. You don't see them very much on my Instagram photos because they just catch off light really awfully. This is what I look like in my glasses, they're quite nerdy. I really, really, really like nerdy glasses. And you can probably see now they're just catching the light like mad. So like how you can get put on them, makes them just impossible to clean, drives me mad. Uh, and it also costs more for it, so I just get them without the coating. The other question I've got asked quite a few times is, can I touch my nose with my tongue? No, I cannot. Another one I get asked is, can I turn my tongue upside down? Yes, I can. I have to hold it there, I can't keep it there without that. The question along the similar lines I get asked quite a lot is, am I ticklish? I don't know whether this is from people with tickle fetishes, maybe. Um, yeah, but I really, really hate it. I can't stand to be tickled. tickled. It makes me really, really angry. I can't even wash my own feet properly in the shower because I can't stand to touch my own feet because they're so ticklish and I'm really creeped out by feet. Next question is, what are you scared of the most? Um, for me, that's quite a hard one. There's quite a few things that I'm scared of. I'm quite a scared person. Uh, I'm really scared of heights. I hate heights. Like doing a bungee jump would be the worst thing ever. And then I'm really also really scared of house spiders. I can't stand house spiders. And then I also jump really easily. I'm terrible. I'd be perfect for living with if you wanted to make prank videos all the time. Next question I get asked, and I've got asked recently on my Instagram, is what's my favourite animal? 
Um, it's probably quite obvious, it's the same as my last name, but I love foxes and you'll see them in my videos, they're everywhere, this is a new edition, this one or that. Then I also love flamingos and I also love dogs of course, because I have one and I will be doing a video of him at some point. The question I get asked is when are you going to dye your hair red again? Well, it's red. The question I get asked is where do I live? I live in the UK, down south. Uh, I used to live in Wales for quite a long time and that brings me on nicely to my next question is what languages do you speak? I speak Welsh and I speak English. My Welsh is dropping unfortunately. I can understand people saying it and I can read it but me speaking it is not so great anymore which is kind of sad. Moving on to a few more questions that I've got from my Ask Me Anything on Instagram. These ones I have replied to so you might have seen the answers to these already but the first one is do I dry? Yes I do. I've got a cute little toy at Igo. The question I asked and this one is quite a fun one for me is my biggest weakness um for me it is slime videos i am obsessed with slime videos i can't stop watching them i'm constantly on youtube watching slime videos or on my instagram watching slime videos they take up so much of my life and it's actually becoming a bit of an issue but i love slime videos i've even got lots of slime myself and i love to play slime the question i've got asked on my ask me anything is do i like nutella no sh who does not like Nutella? If you don't like Nutella, then get out. So moving on to a more difficult question I've been asked is what my favourite band is. I really don't know. That's such a hard question to answer. I'm into quite a lot of different stuff, um, but I really quite like, at the moment, I quite like the AES and I really like Daughter. They're like two of my bands that I keep listening to a lot at the moment. It's the same as favourite film. I couldn't pick a favourite film. I just like lots of stuff. I tend to like really screwed up films. Um, they're my favourite type. They're really messed up. Um, yeah, kind of depressing, but I quite like that sort of thing. It feels really real and really gritty. But it's the fact that I can't have my feet touched on Instagram when someone asked me if I was ticklish. Um, and they asked me then how and how do I get a pedicure? I don't. My feet are gross. Do not look at my feet. They're the worst. Um, you'll notice I keep them pretty hidden in most of my posts. I hate feet and, and I don't see much point in decorating them to look better. They're pretty just terrifying things. The question I've been asked quite a lot recently is do I have a tattoo? No I don't. I don't currently have a tattoo right now. I'm completely tattoo free. But I really want to get one for my dog, uh, Finny. I'd like to get his either his name or a cute little paw on me somewhere. The question I get asked quite a lot is what my favourite Disney film is. I love Disney films but my favourite Disney film has got to be The Little Mermaid still. It's a very very old one but I used to love watching it when I was little and I still really like it. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, as you can probably tell by my name, it's kind of very similar. Um, so, yeah. I still love The Little Mermaid and I love Lilo and Stitch as well. Another question I've been asked on Instagram is, do I have a weird quirk? Yes, I do. When I put my arms up straight, they sort of go out and angle like this. It's pretty weird. I can't actually physically put my arms straight properly. Um, which would make it really hard if I wanted to do gymnastics because they go out. I did actually do gymnastics for a bit growing up, but I actually remember in the classes when they were saying put your arms straight, I literally couldn't because they just keep going out like this. And I think they thought I was being really naughty, but I was not. I just have freakish arms. The thing I've been asked is what is my favourite snack? I absolutely love co-op zone salt and vinegar crisps. They are literally the best thing in the world. Like I actually I'm actually salivating now thinking about them. It is so disgusting. I'm so obsessed with them. I can have a whole packet of them, like the big share bag, and I'll scoff it all. And they're so strong that they make your lips blister and your tongue blister. So by the end, I've got like really gross lips and tongue, and I'll still eat more. It's disgusting. I'm so obsessed. And ketchup. I know it's not a snack, but that goes on everything. I absolutely love that, and I have way too much of that as well. I'm such a freak. I can't even eat my food if it doesn't have ketchup. Lastly, another question I get asked a lot is, why did you quit modeling? Or are you still modeling? Those two I get asked quite a bit. Um, and you can find out if you go and check out my reasons why I quit modeling video. I'll attach that to the end of this video so you can go and watch that if you wanna see that. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and you've learnt a little bit about me. Um, I feel like I've answered loads of questions so I feel like I've been talking for ages but I probably haven't when I go back to editing this. If you have anything else you want to ask me, drop it in the comments below and I'll respond. I really hope you've enjoyed my video and if you have, please do not forget to drop a like below so more people see. Also, please do not forget to subscribe. I post loads of videos and I am now posting every week. 
have been quite consistent for the past couple of weeks so hopefully this one will go up this week and I will be nailing my target. And thanks again for watching my video. Goodbye!